Uh, it's David here with Futures Trade, and I want to say thank you and farewell. So this will be my final upload. I will no longer come back and make another video. Uh, some of you may be clapping your hands. Some of you may just be like, oh, man, you know, so. But I, I do, again, want to just let you know that the space is beyond uh, what it is that I'm, I'm wanting to constantly interact with. I've been trying to exit for quite some time, but this, yes, this is the day that I need to do it. I want to say thank you to Dimitri because you sent me something that really resonated with me. And so it has been concluded that this is now, this is now. And so it hasn't been been this uh, in times past. It hasn't. And it, although in times past when I had my channel online and stuff, it just wasn't as bad, but it still was pretty bad. But it just wasn't like this. You got a lot of egotistical, selfish people here. And it has multiplied tremendously where no one want to practice professional ethics and that's just being polite. That's just being polite. That's all it's about. And that's not here uh, in the proportionate uh, numbers of, you know, those that are joining. I know there's quite a few of you that have expressed to me uh, via email, definitely. And and I've talked to you guys on the phone, too. Is I've talked to several of you on the phone, and I appreciate the uh, the exchange. I do. And I'm not going to go and list a lot of names, but thank you so much uh, for coming on board. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad that you guys, you guys have found the content uh, informative. I suggest to you, new trader, uh, if you're coming on board, you can still hit the hit the like button if you would like. You know, you will want to help someone, you know, definitely just try to help someone. But I don't want to put the burden on the few that's trying to support the information. I don't want to burden you guys with what's happening here, you know, because we have a teenager in the midst, too, that's learning the material. And unfortunately, I don't want us to set that example of him seeing people just being unprofessional. That's, that's not what he wants and what he will want to experience anyway. And I wouldn't want that uh, for him as well because the parents trust him enough to learn from the channel. So and again, I don't want to burden you guys again. It's pretty again, it's pretty uh it's pretty daunting, that, again, to try to interact with people that just won't be uh, polite. And so many other professions out here have that. You know, any profession you look at, there's, there's generosity, there's politeness. There's just so many principles there that's at work. And it has nothing to do with about sensationalizing and making a bunch of money. And that's what trading is, is essentially uh, doing to people. And I believe that's why you're getting so many egotistical, selfish people in this field. But go back and watch this video from today. I'll, you know, just take a moment, show you what uh, what had, I guess, had happened since the video here. I tried to give you an idea of what they could have done uh, from this zone here. We'll take a look at that real quick. But um, if you're new to the channel, uh, this is the only real time identification process that's online. I tried to do my uh, look around before I, you know, uploaded these videos to try to make sure that I deliver some information that can get you right, you know, right to what what it is that you want to see. And also, I would definitely suggest to you that you watch some of these videos. It's all timeless content. So everything that I'm disclosing on the channel, it's universal. So it's applicable to all cases. And it's been there the whole time because I deliver information based on principles. And so if you're not interested in the logical aspect of learning trading, uh, again, this may not be the channel for you. Uh, I don't I try to appeal to the sensory side of who we are, you know, the psychological structure in which we receive and convey external stimulus. I don't do that. I try to address the fact that we need to learn. And so I'm mentally trying to appeal to the logical side of a person, because when you go to make these choices in the decision place, because that's all the market is, you will want to be informed. That's all, because it's a place full of professionals. So they are people who are serious about returns. And so there's no sectioning off of, you know, intermediate beginners. And that's not how this works. And so whenever you go to interact with the market, I wanted to make sure that logically you can see the chart based on some fundamental truths that has always been there and not based on terminology and suggestions. All right. So this is the chart. I don't know if anyone anyone online uh, that's giving you this whole experience. I tried to do that today purposely. I tried to make sure that I offer to you all five points here. Everything that's right in this little this little section right here, I tried to give to you. Targets, proven turning points, uh, which bar proves for the uh, participation, the trend distance, the trend. I gave you absolutely all five points in one video one video and i don't know of many people that's doing that and again i even covered this information i'm not going to go into great detail but i gave prices 
14.5, that's right here, 18.5, 19.5, and that was back in August. And so we're almost uh, going towards the 18. We're almost there. I believe we'll get there. I do. So, you know, just to put that information out there and again, saying today, saying today and, you know, being at the top of the bar, you know, right here, it's just, and even this, we're going to take, let's just do that. Let's just do that. I'm not going to talk to you too much about it, but again, to deliver this type of experience to you. And again, I covered all of this down here and I even, you know, of course, gave you the zone. Now we can take a look at that just a little closer, if you will. Let me get this here. It's kind of sticking a bit, but you can see they visited the uh, zone first, popped up, went to the trend distance. Now, this is the trend distance that I had measured here. And I told everyone, whenever you make a trend, oftentimes they'll rotate and they just ended up knocking out that trend. But I did say also just within the last video, uh, last, well, yesterday's video, I believe I said that oftentimes when they go to turn back around, they'll go and get that trend distance. And that's what they did. They went right to that trend distance. And that's what that line is. They went right there and then they came back to that zone and did not break it. And again, I drew these zones based on the majority principle. So everything that I tell you about the bars, that's what the zone is all about. All right. So they blew through these. They didn't stop. And I know I didn't anticipate that that should have been the case anyway. If they didn't want to break down, there's only one default move that's going to happen. And that's them going up. All right. And so they're already at uh, that 17,650. They haven't hit it yet. So you still got an opportunity to grab these two targets uh, should you want to. Now, I do want to show you uh, what it is that Dimitri sent to me. I thought it was, again, just thoughtful, really thoughtful. And so this to me is just very mean, meaningful. I hope Dimitri don't mind me sharing this with you guys. But yes, I'm I'm going to have to disappear at this point, you know. So I'm I'm going to be vacating this space, and I absolutely wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.